driver was going over 100 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour road up in North Las Vegas. Today, the family of the victims and survivors of this crash honored those innocent lives lost. Reporter Kay McCabe has more for us tonight. Kay? And the reality is that I wish that I could bring you comfort with saying something that we always say is that time heals all. And I'm just going to tell you that's not the truth. Tiffany May Noel, the lone survivor, was left critically injured in the six vehicle crash that left nine people dead on January 29th, 2022. Even my family saw me laying face down in the dirt when this incident happened. On that day, 59-year-old Gary Dean Robinson, who had a history of speeding and driving under the influence, was traveling over 103 miles per hour in a Dodge Challenger with a passenger in the car, according to the National Transportation Safety Board's recent report. According to an autopsy from the Clark County Coroner, Robinson had intoxicating levels of cocaine and PCP in his system at the time of the crash. Police say Robinson ran a red light at the intersection of Cheyenne and Commerce, hitting and killing a minivan of seven people, all a part of the same family, himself and his passenger, Tananga Miller. Because I still hear the screams, the echoes, the cries, and I have sleepless nights. And I'm always crying. A year later, members of the Zacharias family are still mourning, but now remembering their loved ones' lives. On Sunday, the family, North Las Vegas Mayor Pamela Goins Brown, and members of the community honored the seven with a tree dedication at Craig Ranch Park, along with pictures of each victim. This horrific accident happened, and you, you know the outcome. And so I just want to never forget because these are our future. And as the community remembers one of the worst fatal car crashes in Clark County history, May Noel hopes change comes from this incident that she'll never forget. And the reality is, is that will read about this. This will go down in history. People will train and use this as an event to learn from, but we're going to continue to live it every day. We need to talk about laws, policies, court systems, and allow that allow repeat offenders to continue on our roadways. And that was Kay McCabe reporting. Well, making national headlines tonight is former President Donald Trump, who has officially kicked off his 2024 presidential campaign over